when you talk about listening, I think you also have to talk about the ways in which we, we don't listen. I think yeah. they, they always go together, I think. Yeah, I like to refer to it as getting how we're in the way. Mm. And a lot of what we're really discovering in the awakening, so-called awakening process, is how we're actually in the way of listening. Mm -hmm. That listening is just happening, or seeing is just happening, but somehow we get in the way. We somehow interfere with it. Mm -hmm. and, and to be able to catch how we're inter interfering, that's really where the opening takes place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you get in the way of listening. You know, and even in, in um, then of course, the way we might um, hear this is that we think, okay, well, then I'm, I, I'm not listening, so I'm going to try to listen. So now <laughs> I, I get even more in the way, because now I'm trying to listen. So my, <laughs> my attempt to listen to you is getting in the way of even more of, of, of listening. Because I think there's, there's a very natural, effortless listening that's, that's always happening. And you know, that's, that's, I think, what we're talking about is this natural, effortless listening that's always, that's always there. Yeah, it's just the ease of being. There's nothing done, nothing, not trying, like you said, not trying to get anything. The end of trying to get something. Mm -hmm. And then I think we begin to experience what I would call being nourished or fulfilled or enlivened. You know, enlivened in awareness. And being in an environment like this and hanging out in a kind of clarity of listening, uh, some, there's a resonant field that transmits itself, you might say. Sort of non-verbally. Maybe we're really learning how to listen. Maybe that's a lot of what our gatherings are about, mm. is really a new, uh, maybe a different approach of being together, where it isn't about having to be somebody, mm. but really just being together. Mm.